Yeah, I'm coming. I'll be right there. So this is my life, usually. Traveling a lot, working with other people's cats and, and cats in shelters. That's what we do. This time, however, it's a little bit different. This time, my cat, my Caroline, is at home and leaving her this time is weighing heavily on my mind. Now, if you haven't been following along, here's a quick recap. Caroline is sick and Caroline uh, is facing end of life and I've decided to film the process because at first she was sick but we thought there was a way through that sickness. We found out suddenly that our plans were not going to work. And after looking at a, a lot of different options and really, really struggling through all those options, we realized that hospice was what should happen and what Caroline would want. So the rest of this has just been a journey through palliative care and what that looks like and what it's what it's like to go through it. Now, the thing with her diagnosis was they said, well, you've only got a couple weeks, maybe a month. That was before Christmas. It is now March 19th. So it's been a lot longer than we thought we would have, and we're grateful for that. But now, as I travel more, every time I take a trip, I come back and she's lost a little more weight. Or I can tell in my wife Mina's face that she's been having to step up the care a little bit. And leaving Caroline this morning was not okay with me. I'm going to leave you. Janet's got to go on a trip. Janet's a little torn up by that. But please stay healthy, my love. Don't stress out. I will come soon. He is it. And if anything hurts too much, if anything is too much for you, I will come right home. I will come right home. I love you so much, my baby. I love you so much. I... Ouch. This comes with another story. My soulmate, Rudy, who was a dog, was facing similar end of life prospects back in 2014, maybe 15. And I was in the middle of filming a very long season of My Cat From Hell. We were in Austin filming. Rudy had heart issues that eventually took her from us. My ex who was with her who said, you really gotta get back here. She's in ICU right now. We don't know if she's gonna make it. And I tried to move heaven and earth to get me out of Austin that day and it just wasn't happening and I had to film that day and if if you look there's an episode where we were actually talking about mourning and and grief in the episode and I couldn't get three words out of my mouth without coming completely undone and the thought that I was going to miss those last moments with Rudy tore me to pieces I got back I was with her. It was the day after where we allowed this story to end with her. Never end, but transition to something different. That's my fear with Caroline, is that I'm gonna miss this. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, but the back of my head says, you know, aren't you gonna learn? At some point, are you gonna learn that you can't tempt fate or fate or death too many times? I miss Rudy so much and it's been so long and I've never quite gotten over it. And that is grief, right? Incorporating loss into life is what we're trying to do. But it doesn't always work that way. And with Caroline, and maybe because I'm recording it, I don't know, maybe that's part of it, is that I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to have to be telling you the story about Caroline and how I would have done it differently when I have to deal with this again. And who knows? As uncomfortable as this has been, I hope it's of some use to somebody who is facing the uncertainty that we've had to face uh, in the past few months and the sort of havoc it can wreak in your life. And the last thing I'll say is thank you to everybody who has written in, who has sent beautiful gifts, who have really demonstrated the strength of community uh, during this time because it's no joke. 
we made a deal with with our animal children as we are animal parents we will always put in love into this equation that we would never take back but we'll be faced with grief that we might not be ready for and maybe at the end of the day that's what hospice is is getting ready someone else is probably living this story too i'm not the only one in the world facing loss all right you guys put a hug on those you love and uh, i'll talk to you soon here we go Say goodbye. Meow.